Hello, second grade, and welcome back to Wish Words Part 2. This is actually the third video, but this is the second part. And this is going to be adding our watercolor resist. So for today, you're going to need watercolor paint, a paintbrush, and your drawing from last time. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a pretty cool resist. And we're going to mix up our colors a little bit. So I have turquoise in here, so I'm going to get some turquoise paint on my brush. And I'm going to take the turquoise and I'm going to go on top of the yellow on my areas that have turquoise. And you can see that the paint is not covering the yellow crayon completely. It's covering it a little bit, but it's not providing complete coverage. And that's because it's doing the resisting that we talked about in the last video. The crayon is wax and wax and paint don't want to be friends with each other. They want to be as far apart from each other as they can. So they're going to not be friends with each other, meaning they resist each other. Now I'm going to try some purple. And this paint you see doing this, bubbling up, is an example of resisting. So right here, the dark parts are where the paint is not touching the paper. And the very light purple areas is where the paint is touching the paper. You can see where the paint goes onto the paper pretty well. So that's just extra paint that's kind of bubbling up, cuddling up to itself on top of the wax, making almost like a little tiny paint puddle that we can't really see too well. And it will dry like that. The air will evaporate out, leaving behind the pigment and these dark spots. So I've brought my turquoise blue down here and my purple up there. So now I'm going to do similar. I'm going to bring my, I don't have a whole lot of magenta in here. Uh-oh, we're almost out of magenta. Let's see if we can make it work. It'll maybe be good. Bring my magenta down. Now, my magenta paint and my magenta crayon are so similar in color that you can't even hardly see the resist happening on the parts of the E, which is fine. It happens. Um, if that happens to you, don't think that you did something wrong. It's not wrong. It's just something that happens with paint sometimes and with resists. Uh, my orange might be very similar too. I won't know until I try it, but you're not going to always have that beautiful resist everywhere you go. And I don't know why I just painted my letter. I was supposed to be painting this. Goodness, guys, Miss Hershey's not doing what she's supposed to be doing. So this one would be orange on the background. All right, so orange on top of the green. Now that's going to look a little bit, that's not super pretty. I don't know about that color choice. When you're doing your painting, if you don't want to put orange and green next to each other, I don't blame you because that is not the most beautiful compilation of colors that I've ever seen. Compilation, combo, combination. So then for the actual letters, I was planning on painting them all the same color, but then I did this one kind of funky. So, hmm, let me think about that for a minute. Let me try to make a little magenta by mixing some purple and some red. Well, that's not quite magenta, is it? It's grape E. Okay. I was going to do all of my letters yellow just because I like yellow. It's bright. It's happy. I thought it would really pop on all of the letters and make them look really pretty and stick out. Um, you can do your letters all different colors. You can do the multiple colors. This is your painting to do and have fun with however you please. I want you to enjoy the painting and I want you to be proud of it when you're done. And if that means doing a whole bunch of colors, then that's, that's what it means. It's your painting. Uh, I really hope that the stuff that you're making, you guys end up hanging it up and you really enjoy it at home. You show it off to your parents, your grandparents, anybody that's around, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, cousin. I got some yellow. Now, I did a really heavy crayon there, so there's a lot of resist, hardly any yellow touching the paper. And then, uh, let's see what happens when I do this one. It might just all kind of blend together. But we'll try it. All right, so that is it for this project. So the painting is very simple. Again, um, don't probably do it as fast as I did. Take some time, enjoy it, have fun. And then once it's dry, if you want to, you can go back with a Sharpie and you can outline your letters. I did that on this Hope one and I think it really made them pop. Um, I think I'll do it to this one when it's dry and then I'll post an image on Schoology for you to see. 
but again, certainly not a requirement, just something I'm going to recommend. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I can't wait to see your guys' wish paintings. Bye!